Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, AOC, passionately highlights the stark lack of diversity in Congress, emphasizing that white men significantly outnumber their representation relative to the broader U.S. population. I think one of the things that we need to take a look at is the world that they're fighting for, a world without diversity, equity, and inclusion policies, which is to say the default, which is to say workplaces that are honestly kind of like Congress, because the population of the United States, as we mentioned, is about 59% white. Do you know what percentage of Congress is white? I don't, but I know that we finally have 60 members of the Congressional Black Caucus, which yes. is progress. But even then, 75%. White Americans make up 60%, 59% of the U.S. population, 75% of Congress. Men are 50% of the population and make about 70% of Congress. In broader societal discourse, the principles of meritocracy and individualism hold sway advocating for positions to be earned through qualifications, experience, and performance, rather than solely identity. AOC's advocacy for racial and gender diversity challenges this view, asserting that rigid adherence to these principles risks overlooking systemic barriers that persist. While strides have been made in diversity over time, disparities remain. The goal should not be to mandate specific outcomes based on identity, but to ensure equitable opportunities for all. AOC's stance is viewed by some as a necessary push against entrenched inequality, yet critics argue it risks polarizing public opinion. They contend that a singular focus on race and gender can breed division rather than unity, suggesting instead that society should unite around shared values and aspirations.